Hey everybody! So just recently, Wizards of the Coast released its trailer for Dragons of Tarkir. After catching some flack for skipping the trailer for Fate Reforged, we expected great things to come from Dragons of Tarkir. While the trailer was indeed impressive from a technical standpoint, I do have some grievances with it that I'd like to point out. I may be in the minority on this one, but I just did not enjoy this trailer. To me, I was expecting something great to make up for the lack of a Fate Reforged trailer, but what we got fell far below those expectations in my eyes. Let's first go over what I liked about the trailer. First and foremost, the Dragons of Tarkir trailer is very visually impressive. The animation work is far beyond those of the previous trailers without a doubt. If there were to be a Magic the Gathering animated show of some kind, this is exactly how I would envision it. But let's not forget the true purpose of these trailers. Besides the hype factor, it's to actively convey the ongoing storyline of a set to the player base. Since we were left in the dark, so to speak, with the Fate Reforged storyline, I expected that the Dragons of Tarkir trailer would shed some light on that set. Yet, this trailer only mentions Fate Reforged in passing, simply stating that Sarkon did go back in time and save Ugin. While I understand that a trailer can't go back and explain every little thing that happened, I did expect it to go into a little more detail. So, if it didn't go into the story of Fate Reforged, did it at least cover the story in Dragons of Tarkir? Well, yes and no. In reality, there doesn't seem to be much of a story happening in Dragons of Tarkir. We went back in time, saved the Spirit Dragon, and now dragons rule the world in place of cons. That's basically it. It's not the trailer's fault that the storyline it's working with is lax, but it didn't really hype me up for the set either. I mean, think back to some of the trailers of your favorite past sets. To me, they all centered around the mystery of a developing story element or some ongoing crisis which needed to be overcome. For Dragons of Tarkir, there seems to be no immediate crisis or developing story on the plane of Tarkir itself, which is pretty disappointing to me. What does seem to be developing is the character of Sarkon himself. Near the end of this trailer, he describes Tarkir as the plane he had always wanted it to be. Does this mean he's content with his life and is done planeswalking for a while? His new personality is just so conflicted with the way he's been portrayed, and since his development was so abrupt, it just doesn't feel like a satisfying end to his story. Trailers are meant to hype us up for what's to come, but really, the Dragons of Tarkir trailer was more like an ending credit to a movie, showing the conclusions of actions rather than foreshadowing anything new. So how could they have added some hype to this trailer? Well, if the story has concluded on Tarkir, perhaps they should have looked beyond Tarkir. Sarkon and Ugin still both have ties to Nicol Bolas, who may or may not be making a new appearance soon. I just think showing his figure on the horizon at some point during this trailer would have been just too awesome. They also could have hinted to the events of the next story arc, now confirmed to be on Zendikar. Ugin has a lot of ties to that plane and to the Eldrazi, so it would have been fitting to see something expressing that relationship in this trailer. In essence, the Dragons of Tarkir trailer wasn't awful, it just wasn't what I expected it to be. As the story arc develops, I'm sure trailers and new animated scenes will be made which match the expectations of all of us. Remember, all this story writing could lead into the official Magic the Gathering movie, so this type of criticism is not without its merit. Although, I may be nitpicking a little bit on this trailer. In any case, I want to know what you think about the Dragons of Tarkir trailer. Let me know that in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.